Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching today's declutter video. So today I'm decluttering some lip products. It's actually going to be two different videos. So for today's video, I'm focusing on these products. And then in the next one, I'll do regular lipsticks. So today I have lip glosses in these three sections. And then I have liquid lipsticks. And then over here, I have lip glosses and lip oils. A lot of my lip products got neglected in 2020. I mainly wear lip gloss these days because I wear them on camera when I'm filming videos, when I'm on a Zoom call. And sometimes I'll just wear them around the house because I miss them. But a lot of my regular lipsticks just haven't gotten worn. So I can't wait for the day when we can go back to wearing lip products again like normal I will totally be wearing all of my reds and bright pinks out in public one day but for now it is time to kind of go through and get rid of the products that I know I just won't reach for over the next year or two I am on a lip gloss no buy so I won't be buying any new lip glosses or really a lot of products lip products over the next year I just don't need them I'm going to focus on what I have shop my stash so because of that I want to declutter the formulas and colors that I don't reach for as often so that way when I'm looking for a shade to wear I can just open my my drawer and see products I know I love so let's jump into it and I'll start decluttering I think I'll start with lip gloss so I have a few lip glosses from elf this one is their clear lip lacquer I don't wear clear lip gloss a ton so I don't want to keep like seven different options I don't even know if I have that many clear glosses but I do like to have just a couple of them because obviously they can go with any lipstick underneath so I am going to keep the clear one and then I also have these these are from the mint melt collection there were four shades but I just have three so I have the clear mint one and then I also have these two nudes this is like one of my favorite formulas right now it just feels so good on the lips these feel like high-end lip glosses they're pretty similar to the original lip lacquer but they do have a minty feel and they kind of give your lips like that plumping effect they're not too intense but you will feel like a slight cooling effect when you do wear them so I'm going to keep these as well I think I am going to part with these covergirl tinted lip oils just because ColourPop came out with lip oils and when I reach for one I usually reach for one of those these are really good I think they look pretty on the lips but I don't need like a ton of lip oils in my collection I feel like I have a few shades from Colourpop that I love so I'm going to go ahead and declutter these okay I love these lip glosses I talk about them all the time on my channel these are the essence plumping nudes lip glosses I do think that mine are getting old and they've expired because they are definitely separating when I wear them and like mix it back up it's only a matter of time before they separate again so I think I am going to declutter these I used these a ton I mean you can tell the labels are wearing off because I've used them a lot I talk about them a lot so I think I will end up repurchasing them at some point but not for now because I am on a no buy but it is time to get rid of these I just think the formula is going bad I also think I am going to declutter these Urban Decay lip glosses so last year I did declutter a few of the shades that I had and these are getting a little bit old I actually think the formula is still okay and a lot of you guys ask me when I film these videos like how do you know when something expires there are some guidelines out there I don't typically follow all of the guidelines I just kind of go based on texture scent formula these still feel fine, but I actually have a lot of other formulas that I like better than these at this point. So I just haven't reached for them at all in 2020. And because of that, I'm just going to declutter them. I know they're getting a little bit older and I don't think I'll reach for them a lot over the next year anyway. These are the Domini Cosmetics Lemonade Lip Glosses. I am going to keep these. I think that these are really pretty on the lips. I think they're great for spring. So I'm going to put them in my everyday makeup drawer for the spring season. I was going to swatch a lot of these products for you because I know that's helpful. I just feel my blush declutter and my camera is just not cooperating it will not focus on the swatches and I don't know if I have like the wrong setting I I know I need to upgrade my camera and my lens so I apologize I just can't get it to focus when I actually put my hand out to show you the swatches but I still wanted to film the actual declutter because I still need to go through and declutter everything okay the next lip gloss in here is from the brand Kaleidos I love this one this one is in the shade Mesmerize I actually wear this quite a bit I haven't worn it in a little while because I just I have too many products and it kind of made its way to the bottom of one of the sections but I am going to pull this out now that I am decluttering and wear it again it gives your lips such a pretty flush of color it has a good amount of pigment and I used to hate pigmented glosses but I feel like lately I've kind of been enjoying them just because I like the texture of a gloss more than a lipstick so if the lip gloss does have pigment I'll still wear it so I am going to keep this one and then these are the ColourPop ultra glossy lips I don't know why I just don't love the ultra glossy lip formula I feel like I keep trying it 
and then I declutter it and then I try it again. So I'm telling myself right now it is time to quit trying the ultra glossy lips. They're good, they are, but I actually like their luxe lip glosses better. So if I had my choice when it comes to ColourPop glosses, I wouldn't really reach for these over the luxe glosses. So because of that, I am going to declutter these as well. So I do have a lot of these Fenty mini glosses, which I just love so much. So these are actually Oh my gosh, I have more than I thought. So these are actually from the holiday sets that came out this year and last year. I love when they do the mini sets because you can try out a bunch of different colors and Fenty doesn't always release new full-size lip glosses too, too often. So I love the minis, they are my favorite. But let me just take a look at the colors. I mean, I don't know why I'm even acting like I'm going to declutter any of them because I'm not. I'm going to keep all of them. The Fenty Gloss Bombs are my favorite, so I'm definitely going to keep all of the minis. I could get rid of all of my gloss and just have these and be happy. I'm not going to do that though because I do love different formulas. So I didn't realize this mini is actually a full size. This one is called Sweet Mouth, which is good to know because I did consider buying the full size version of that. So I do have this one which is a permanent shade. I do have a mini version of Fussy. I also have the full size version of Fussy. I'm still going to keep the mini version because I mean, I feel like it's something I might actually, I might actually use this one up. I'm getting close, the full size version. So I will keep the mini as well. I actually don't think any of the other minis are available as full size versions. So these were all limited edition. I actually love the hot pink shades. These lip glosses are pretty sheer. So even though they look kind of intense in the actual packaging, once you wear them, they don't show up like that. So I do like wearing these lip glosses over like a nude lipstick just to add a hint of color without being too intense. So I'm going to keep all of these. I'm going to keep the full size Fenty glosses too. So I have hot chocolate. I also have diamond milk. I thought I decluttered this one a while ago, but I didn't. And now I'm kind of glad I didn't because I have been into clear gloss a little bit. So I do like that one. And then of course I have fussy. So I am going to hang on to all of my Fenty glosses. They are my favorite. I am going to declutter my Hourglass lip glosses. I did declutter a few other shades last year when I did this video and I haven't worn the ones that I've kept. I think they're really beautiful. The packaging is gorgeous, the formula is nice, but this was actually a formula that I would tend to wear out and I mean, I haven't been going anywhere for like a year, so there is no reason for me to keep these. I mean, I can wear them on camera, but they kind of have that texture where they're a little bit thicker. They're a little bit too thick. So I'm just, I'm not going to reach for them over like my Fenty glosses or my e.l.f. glosses. So it's time to declutter them. I think this is the only Ofra lip gloss I own. I thought that I had another one. I thought that I had a plain clear one. And I think I do, maybe it's just hiding in another spot. But this is the lip gloss in Millie. It was part of the Samantha, Ma Samantha March Ofra collaboration, which I do love. So I am going to keep this one too. So these are the Milani Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumpers. I love Love these. I think they are a good alternative to the Fenty glosses. They actually feel very similar on the lips, but these do have a little bit of a plumping quality to them. So I feel like it's not that they sting, but they kind of give you like that minty feel as well. So I'm going to keep these. Now, as far as Buxom goes, I have discovered that I do tend to prefer their sheer glosses over their cream glosses. And that's kind of the case in general, but I did just get like a mini set for the holiday season that came with a bunch of sheer glosses and like a few creams. And I feel like I'm not wearing the creams very much lately. So I do have this one. This one is in the shade Claire. I love this one. I'm actually going to move this to my everyday makeup drawer. It's just such a pretty color. I love the Buxom formula so much, but this one is like a really pretty sheer shimmer. So I am going to keep this one. This one is White Russian. Buxom recently did like an entire White Russian collection. I used to have this back in the day. I think I had it in a mini version and I don't always wear these like light soft pinks, but it looks so good over nude lip liner. So I'm going to keep this one as well. Because I have that one, I'm going to declutter this one. This one is called Seychelles Breeze. It's pretty similar. I think that it's a little bit deeper, but I, again, I do prefer sheer lipsticks overall. And the next three that I also have are creams. This one is called Dolly Daiquiri. This peachy one or this coral one is called Mykonos Sunrise and the last one is called Goa Gimlet. I'm really tempted to keep these because they're so pretty. I just, if I'm being honest, I haven't worn them at all in the past year and I know the past year was a little bit weird. It probably wasn't like a good indication of what I actually like and what I don't but I'm just, I'm trying to cut down a little bit so I think I'm actually going to declutter these as well. I just have other formulas 
or other shades in this formula that I like better. I do, I just prefer their sheer lipsticks overall or their sheer lip glosses overall. So that being said, I think I will keep the minis. This one is called Belle. I don't know that they are all permanent shades. In fact, I think some of them are limited edition. This one is called Ginger. These actually came in a set that was limited edition. Um, this one is called Sugar, but I know some of the lip glosses themselves are permanent. This one is called Celeste. I love this one. It's such a pretty color. This one is Noel. It's a little bit more of like a cream compared to the other ones. And then this one is called Serena. It's a really pretty bronze. This one is from a set that I got last year or maybe the year before. It's still good. I just wore it the other day. It's called Brook. It's a really pretty warm nude. So I'll keep those and then declutter the other ones. I feel like I'm making pretty good progress so far. So let me switch these containers. Let me switch gears and do a liquid lipsticks and then I'll come back and do these lip products from ColourPop. So before I get into these, I just want to go through these and see which formulas I want to keep and which ones I want to declutter because all of these are ColourPop. So I used to love this Too Faced lipstick in the shade Child Star. I used to actually just like their Melted Matte lipstick line in general, but it is so drying. I haven't worn this for at least a year. I definitely have other liquid lipstick formulas I like better, and this was like my perfect pinky nude. But again, at this point, I do have other shades that kind of match up to this one. So I think I can finally let this one go. It would just like crack when I had it on. So typically I would wear it over a regular cream lipstick, but even at that point, it was still a little bit uncomfortable. So it's time to declutter this one. I think I'm actually going to declutter these Stila liquid lipsticks as well. I actually really like these, but again, they're very, very old. And I know that I have similar shades. I have some Ofra lipsticks that are very similar to this one. And then I have like pretty much a new ColourPop liquid lipstick that's similar to this one. So if I'm going to cut my collection down and get rid of similar shades, I'd rather keep the newer liquid lipstick just because I know these will expire faster if they're not already expired. So it's time to declutter these as well. I do like the Stila liquid lipstick formula, but my favorite liquid lipstick formula over the past year has definitely been Ofra, maybe even longer than a year because not last summer, but the summer before, I remember that I was wearing one shade nonstop. I know that I have it in here somewhere. So I have gotten a few more over liquid lipsticks. I've purchased some and then they did send me some in the mail as PR because they heard me saying how much I like their liquid lipsticks. Verona is my absolute favorite color. I'm, I'm going to try to swatch this because I really, I wish my camera would focus so I could show you. Of course it's working right now. That makes me so mad because I could have been swatching everything else for you. But I think when it comes to like darker lipsticks, they show up well so my camera can actually focus on them. Unlike blush, it just, it couldn't figure out where to focus. Anyway, this is a little bit of a deeper nude on my skin tone. I love this color. It is so pretty with like a brown smoky eye and it's just my absolute favorite. So I do love this one. So these three are actually from the Jen Loves Reviews collaboration. I think it's still available on Ofra's website. I did talk about it in a video back in March. I think they came out in March or April. It was like right when everything was happening last year. So I know a lot of people weren't buying lipstick which it just sucks. It was such bad timing for her release date, which I know she didn't plan for that to happen. That's just kind of how it worked out. But if you are still wearing liquid lipstick and you're looking for just a unique collaboration, this is a great option because it comes with three different shades. So you get a really light shade, kind of like a medium pink and then a deep shade. And she created these to actually mix in with your existing collection. So if you have certain shades in your collection that are just a little bit off or you would like to switch them up a little bit, you can mix in one of these. And it's just it's really, really convenient. This one is called Portland. It's the swatch right in the middle. It's a little bit of a deeper brown, which I love. I don't typically wear shades like this, but I do think it looks really pretty with like a smoky eye. So I like to have one on hand. And then this one is called Sedona. It's the first swatch. It's a little bit of a warm, kind of like terracotta nude. So this one is called Hypno. It's a really pretty deep red. And then this one is called Story. This was part of the Samantha March collaboration as well. So I am going to keep these. The Ofra liquid lipstick formula has been one of my favorites. It's just very, very comfortable on the lips. It stays in place so well. So I think I'm actually going to compare some of the ColourPop lipsticks to these. And if there are similar shades, I'll declutter the ColourPop version because I do like the Ofra version better. I do have this berry toned Ofra liquid lipstick in the older packaging. I doesn't have a shade name on it unfortunately. I think I'm actually going to declutter this shade. I just don't wear berry tones like that a whole lot so I think I will declutter this one. And then I found one more Ofra liquid lipstick and of course this one doesn't have a name on it either. It's pretty similar to Hypno. I don't think I need to keep 
both of them. So I think I will declutter this one too. I do have these two Pixie by Petra lipsticks. These are actually really nice. They're not completely transfer proof, but they have a little bit more of like a satin texture. So I do feel like they're more comfortable than other liquid lipsticks. But that being said, when I do wear them, I feel like they tend to bleed a little bit. And I don't know that that's always been the case. I'm sure it has. I feel like I've just noticed it a little bit more. So I think I'm actually going to declutter these. I do have other liquid lipsticks that come close that I'll probably reach for more often if I want more of a long lasting effect. So as much as I've enjoyed these over the years, I think I'm going to let them go. So other than Ofra, my other favorite liquid lipstick formula is Dose of Colors. This is just such a beautiful formula. It is a little bit more drying than Ofra, but they have really unique colors that I love. So I am going to hang on to these, but I'll swatch these for you as well. So the top one is called Sand. This is like my favorite if I have a really dramatic eye look on, and sometimes I'll mix it in with the next one as well, but this is definitely one I'm going to hang on to. This one is the second swatch. It's called Desert Suede. It's a really beautiful beautiful kind of cooler toned taupey nude and again I do love mixing the first two shades together but I love this one on its own as well. I think I'm actually going to declutter this one. This one is called Flirty. It's the lighter pink swatch. I just don't think I'll wear that shade a whole lot. I don't tend to go for very very light pinks. They just don't look great on my skin tone. So I think I will declutter this one. And then this one is called Charm. I think I will keep this one though. I think I did get these in Boxy Charms, but I love the red. I again love this formula, so I'll keep this one too. The last liquid lipstick before I move on to ColourPop is this one. It is the Lip Tonic in the shade Infusion. This is from Kaleidos. I'm not actually sure if I've ever worn this. This is a really pretty light nude. It seems like a very liquidy formula. It could be really good. I just don't think I need it. It's kind of sheer, so it does look like I would have to build it up a little bit. I'm just going to declutter this one because I haven't worn it and it's been in my collection this whole time. So I do think ColourPop has improved their ultra matte liquid lipstick formula quite a bit over the years. It used to be very, very dry, very uncomfortable. And I won't say it's my number one liquid lipstick formula. I do prefer Ofra or Dose of Colors, but if there is like one specific shade I want to buy, sometimes I don't want to invest in a really expensive liquid lipstick just because they, they don't last forever. And sometimes I don't wear like an orange liquid lipstick all the time. So ColourPop is a good alternative if there is like a unique shade that I want. So let me just go through them and then maybe just declutter the duplicate shades that I own. And I will swatch them for you. I just don't know that these are all on the ColourPop website website still. I'll actually, I'll swatch the ones that you can still buy. Okay, do you want to know something ridiculous? I just searched for every single one of these ultra matte lipsticks on ColourPop's website, and these are the only three that they still have. The rest have just been completely discontinued. And these are not even super old because they did send me their reformulated liquid lipsticks when they did them. I mean, maybe that was two years ago, but I just, they discontinue their products so quickly. So I'll swatch these three for you because that way if you are interested in these shades, you can still get them. The rest, unfortunately, are no longer available. So on the top, we have Sunny Side, which is a really pretty lighter nude. In the middle, we have the shade Most Likely To. That's actually a really pretty pink. I don't typically like a lot of pink liquid lipsticks, but I do like that one. My favorite ColourPop lipstick, I'm glad they didn't discontinue this one, is Melonade. When I do wear like a bright red liquid lipstick, this one is my go-to. I am going to keep these three shades because I know they're available on the ColourPop website, and that way if I'm trying to reference certain shades you can actually get, at least I know I can talk about those. I don't know why this one is in my collection. It's the Ultra Blotted Lip. I hate the Ultra Blotted Lip so much much for some reason and I swear I discontinued or I decluttered all of them a while ago so this one is getting decluttered somehow it made its way back in here as for the really bright intense shades I think that this one has expired unfortunately that's the other thing about these ColourPop liquid lipsticks they don't last as long I tried to mix this one up and it won't mix back together and the formula is just very very thick so I have to declutter this one but I am going to keep a bugaboo I don't have any other liquid lipsticks like this one it's like a bright hot orange so I feel like this would be really fun for the spring. This one is still good. This one is called Good Karma and since I decluttered my Stila liquid lipstick I am going to keep this one. These ones are Told You So and Punch Bowl. These are still good, but these are shades that I just don't think I will end up wearing anytime soon. They're a little bit too orangey for me, so I am going to declutter these as well. The shade Fuego definitely expired. The formula is just not the same as the other ones, and I can't get it to mix back together. And then the color Gingham is fine, but this isn't a shade that I think I'll end up reaching for. The pink is just like not my 
type of go-to pink. So I'm going to declutter these two. Relay Race looks very similar to one of the Ofra lipsticks I kept. So I'm going to declutter this one, but I am going to keep Rocket Man. This one is a really pretty deep berry. The last section I need to go through are just these ColourPop Luxe Glosses and Lip Oils. So I do have five of the lip oils. I actually really like this formula, but I do feel like they end up looking pretty similar on the lips, so let me just swatch them for you. So as for the nudes, the top one is called Skinny Dip and the second one is called Playa Vista. I'm going to keep Playa Vista just because it has a little bit more color. They end up looking really similar on the lips, but I do feel like I tend to reach for this one more than I do the light one. The third one is called Bengal and the last one is called called Hey. These are a little bit different, but again, on the lips, they're going to look absolutely identical. So I think I will keep, oh, I don't know. I think I'll keep Hey just because it is a little bit different than some of my other lip products and I will declutter Bengal. I'm also going to keep the clear one just because I do feel like I throw this one on quite a bit too. These are all of the luxe glosses that I have. I actually like this formula. It's not necessarily overly glossy, but it almost feels like a lip balm lip gloss hybrid. It's very, very comfortable really hydrating, really hydrating, which is what I feel like I've been going for over the past year. I will even wear these around the house because they are so comfortable. So let me swatch them because they tend to be a little bit more sheer. So I do think they end up looking kind of similar on the lips. Actually, first of all, I do have a clear. This one is just called Let's Be Clear. I am going to keep this one. And then I also have a clear with shimmer. This one is from the Raw Beauty Christie collection called Glacier. I'm going to keep this one too. This one is called Wildflower. It's just a very light baby pink. And then this one is called Figgy With It, which is just a pretty pinky mauve. I think I'm going to keep both of these too. Okay, these swatches really show you how sheer these glosses are because these look so similar once you swatch them. The top one is called Eclectic. This one is just like a very easy light nude. So I am going to keep this one. Right under it is called Cross Street. They're so similar. You know what? I think I'll actually keep Cross Street instead of Eclectic. Cross Street is more of like a sheer, sheer light nude. Like it's almost a clear with a hint of nude and Eclectic has more of like a golden tone to it. So I feel like I would wear Cross Street more, but they're so similar, I don't need both. This is basically identical to, this one is called Come Through. It's a little bit darker, but honestly on the lips, you won't see much of a difference. So I think I can declutter this one too, but I will keep the last one. The last one is called Health Kick. It kind of looks like it could be a dupe for the Fenty Gloss Bomb in hot chocolate. Let's check. Here's what they look like in the bottles. The Fenty one is a little bit more purpley, but they're kind of similar. And here's what they look like swatched. They look basically identical. The formulas are different. The Lux glosses have more of like that balm like texture, but if you're just going for the shade, this one is less expensive for sure. So that's what Health Kick looks like from ColourPop and then Hot Chocolate from Fenty. I'm going to save this so I can mention that in like a drugstore alternatives video and I do like the shade. Okay, so here is a look at my current lip gloss, liquid lipstick collection. These are all of the products I'm keeping and then these are all of the products I'm decluttering. I started with 94 products, so let me show you guys before. Here's what everything looked like. Everything actually fit okay, but because they were overflowing, I really didn't know what I had and what I didn't. So I feel like a lot of the lip glosses I liked were kind of at the bottom. So I did end up decluttering 37 and I kept 50. So I decluttered 40%, which I am happy with. I actually didn't purchase too, too many new lip products over the past year. So unfortunately, a lot of these are from just having them in my collection for a few years. Now when I get new products in the mail as PR, instead of just like throwing all of them in my collection, I choose like one or two shades I like and then I just either give away the rest or donate them before I even open them. That's not something I used to do in the past, which is why I had so many of like the ColourPop Ultra Mattes and just different products in my collection as a whole. But I do feel like I've been a lot smarter with my purchases and my PR. So I feel good about this. Anyway, thank you guys for watching today's video. If you like declutter videos, I do have quite a few on my channel. I will link them in the description box below. And I should have a few more coming your way unless this is my last one. I'm not sure which order they're going up in, but I'll link any other related videos in the description or on the right side of the screen. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you very soon with a new video. Bye.